Welcome everyone to a video for the product area of electric machines. My name is Chris, I'm the responsible guy for the Allen Academy and on my right hand side my dear colleague Ralph. Great to have you here. Hi Chris, thank you for having me. Ralph is an expert for the topic of electric machines and much more, but today we're going to focus this area. At the back you see our great training system where we will have a closer look shortly. But Ralph, before we go into that detail, just let us know the topic of electric machines. How important is it? Where do we find electric machines in our all-day life? Okay, Chris. Electrical machines will be found all over, you can imagine. So, for example, in the industry, all drives are electrical, mostly. So, in the car, we are on a change. So, that means in the automotive industry, we also change from the combust motor to the electric motor and also in the domestic area you have washing machines you have cleaners hair dryer all these things are driven by electrical machines so you find electrical machines everywhere everywhere so that means this guy over here in various shapes and forms doesn't matter where we go when we go at home when we sit in our car or when we go to our workspace or in the industry you will find electric machines Yep. So they are critical for today's life, basically. As we know now, this system is just an example for much broader use. Um, so I'm asking myself the question, well, which topics can we cover with these training systems or with the modularity, the variety of the different training systems? So Chris, could you imagine we have almost every motor which you can imagine we have in our system. So for example, we have DC motors, asynchronous motors, AC motors, we have synchronous generators, stepper motors, linear motors. So every motor you can imagine okay. we have and we can use it for training purpose. So that basically what Ralph just said, all the different motors which exist and are used at the different trades and kinds, you can all, all of them you can use with that training system basically. Correctly. And not just simulate it, you have really the motors and you can really use the real motors. Yeah. Depending on where you use the electric machine, you have different power classes. How does it look like with this training systems and the different power classes? Do we have the chance to um, yeah, to, to, to use the different power classes or what's the idea for this system here? So we have here the possibility to have three different power classes. So we will start for the basic training with the unit train, which is a, a complex, uh, complete system for training electrical machines in a small level. The next level, we are standing here just in front of them with the 300 watt classes of motor. So we have real machines, 300 watt class, you can get characteristic and so on. And also we have the possibility to enlarge this class to one kilowatt to have bigger machines you can go more in details, so you have the one kilowatt class also. Okay, so that means we do, well, we not just have all the different kind of electric motors, but we also can use all the different kind of electric or of power classes, which makes this system really a complete solution for this field of training, right? Yeah, right. Because we have we are started with the training in the vocational area. Yeah. Then we go a level higher for technical colleges or for university level. And also, so for these levels, we have the different power classes and also different levels of our training courses. Okay, I see. So there's also the chance not just to use it in one place, but you also can use it in different kind of training areas, basically. And just because of the modularity, everyone can fit it to his own needs, what he needs for his apprenticeship and for his training. Oh, correct. That's pretty awesome. So I think you all are now also thrilled to get to know more about system. So I would say, Ralph, the stage is yours. And please give us a closer introduction of how this works and what we can do with this system. Okay, thanks Chris. I will do that. So we are just here in front of our sample setup. So the heart of our system will be our machine test system, this unit here. This unit here is connected to our servo motor, which is the load for our machine under test, the orange by, uh, body here. The machine test system allows us to bring industry behavior to the laboratory. That means 
it could not only record characteristic of the machines, it also emulate real behavior of working machines. For example, calendar, pumps, heavy load drives. So every load you can imagine can be emulated with this unit here. At this setup, the motor is connected with a star delta switch to our power supply. Every connection is done with safety cables, so we are completely safe for electric hazard. To bring motor and machine test system together, it's quite easy. So just bring it, in this case, together and fasten it. Then we have for the safety a shaft guard. And if the light is green, everything is fine. Also, each machine is protected by a thermal protection. So there's built in a thermal protection for the motor. And if it's too hot, the system will stop also. Last but not least, we have here our power multimeter, which allows us to measure all electric values, voltage, current, power, active, reactive, all the things can be measured with this unit. Every setup will be supported by a Lapsoft course. Just give you a short introduction how our Lapsoft courses works. So here we have the Lapsoft. Just I will enter to the relevant course. Each course will start with training objectives. Then we go to the equipment list see which equipment is necessary and then let me go to one experiment so let me go to experiment where we measure the characteristic of the motor we start here with a schematic of the wiring followed by an animation which guides you how to set up the complete equipment and now you will be get guided to do all the things to get the characteristic from the motor. Now I will start active servo software. You will find the servo software here. Active servo has started and now it's quite easy to get the characteristic of the motor. I will start the motor for the star connection, press enable and press here the button output ram. And now the motor gets braked from the no load speed until the motor stands still. This can be configured in the background. So the motor gets braked by 40 steps. And after the motor stops, the motor starts turning again. Now we can do the same for the delta connection and we see directly the difference between the both settings. So we see here that the torque is much higher than in the star connection. So you see how fast we are to get the characteristic of the motor. If I like to see additional values, just do a double click in the software, take the current and for example, the power factor and every value will be in the diagram. Right click, say copy. You can bring it in your Lapsoft course. So all the values can be stored in the Lapsoft. Let me go back to Active Zero, and then I will show you very shortly what other kind of possibilities we have with the software. We have here the possibility to launch different load machines. You see different things, pumps, calendar, hoist drives, winding machines, inertia wheels, and so on. So this is done to get the machines into the laboratory. And we have the last part here, the time diagram chart. So we have the possibility to take dynamic responses of electrical drives. 
And so we have a full software. You can discover all ideas of electrical machines. So thank you very much, Ralph, for this great overview about this really cool training system. I Welcome. think you see it's a really cool training aid in order to get a deep dive into the world of electric drives. Just now, because there's so much what you can do with the system, we saw now the different components of the hardware. We saw the very interesting and very complex active servo, the really cool e-learning course. Ralph, can you just give us a quick overview again? What are now the advantages? Why should I use this training system with the e-learning with Active Servo for my training? So my most advantage of the training system is that we have the possibility to bring industrial behavior to the laboratory. So that means the black unit behaves like the machine you can imagine in the industrial environment. And then you have the Active Servo software to see the behavior and you understand what happens inside the machine. That is, from my side, the biggest advantage of the system. The other things are the safety functionality. We have a shaft cover, we have the protection for overheating. The system is modular. Okay. So you can use the machine test system with various motors. So it's very easy to bring it together. You don't need any tools, so it's quite easy. What about when I have now the kind of students who do try, try and error, basically? Mm -hmm. So maybe they do a short circuit or something like that. What happens then? Okay, so we are thinking about that. And so we try to prevent all the things. So short circuit will not be a problem because we designed the equipment in that case that a short circuit can, ha can be happen, but nothing can be happen to the students and also to the system. Okay, so that perfect. is our goal to make the system as reliable as possible. In both directions. In both directions. So the hardware cannot hurt the student and the student cannot hurt the hardware. Yeah. I think that's a perfect match, isn't it? All right, cool. If you want to get more information on this system or on the topic Active Servo and anything like that, so if you want to have a deep dive into the software, we will link here a video series of three or four videos which go in great detail so when when Ralph did not tell you enough there you get all the information you need for a really deep dive right so we are at the end then Ralph thank you very much thank for this great good. video for this great introduction to that very flexible training system and we wish you a great day and see you soon bye bye